I have heard expressions of appreciation from many of you for the experience of worship this Lent from Ash Wednesday through Easter Sunday, this past Sunday. These have been deeply affirming and heartwarming. I meet with our clergy regularly to share pastoral concerns and to work together to enhance our worship experience. Chris Johnson, our director of music, joins in these meetings, bringing his expertise in music for deeper collaboration and integration of music and worship. This Lent was truly the inspired work of many on our staff. I want to identify the teams who worked on each service and thank them for their contributions to our services throughout Lent 2021. Reverends Northern and Keat, Deborah and Jim took the lead in the Ash Wednesday service. I worked with Reverend Lamb with Bruce on the Monday, Thursday, and Easter services. Planning for the Good Friday service was the work of Reverends Harper and Van Hook, Lynn and Kevin. Minister Amanda Meisenheimer wrote the children's Easter pageant. A special thank you to our guest preachers on Good Friday. Their homilies on the seven last word were profound. I know that you, like me, have perhaps already, and if not, will be returning to some of those meditations over and over again. Behind the scenes, Jacob Smith leads the tech team in the production of the services. That team includes Okira Correa and Michael Arias. Every Monday morning, Jacob joins with Jim Keat, with me, with Carrie Corqueso, who convenes our worship production team. Carrie is essential in reaching out to members of our congregation for liturgical roles in our weekly services, thanks to all the lay liturgists throughout this season. Jones Aqua designed our bulletin covers for Lent, Easter, as well as throughout the year. We saw growing numbers of members of our choir sing to the glory of God, culminating in over 20 of them filling the nave with glorious music on this past Easter Sunday. Chris Johnson and Chris Cregan, the Chris's, played and directed throughout the season. Carrie, Chris Johnson, and I meet monthly with the Worship Commission, chaired by Jesse Wilkins. The commission is our partner in the worship experience here at Riverside. I know you join me in thanking all of those who work together to make our worship of God challenging and thought-provoking and inspirational, deepening our experience of communion and community as the people of God at Riverside. And thank you for your attendance and participation in our virtual services of worship. While we were making live stream participation in worship available before the pandemic, few of us imagined worshiping in this manner at all, much less for a whole year, over a year now. God does move in mysterious ways, even over the internet. Grace and peace, and see you in worship this Sunday.